Hello everyone and welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. Today we're going to continue with the Five Years campaign with what I believe is the semi-finals of the Fortune Cup. Akiza, also known as the infamous Black Rose Witch, was next to battle Yusei. Before it was underway, she met with her mentor, Sayer. Akiza! Goodwin and his people are part of the Order of Iliaster, a group seeking to resurrect a force known as the Crimson Dragon. If allowed to return, the dragon will bring the world to its knees. That's where we come in. We, the Arcadia Movement, will stop Goodwin and lead the world down the right path. Sounds like a good time. Speaking of time, it's almost time for your duel with you, say. The final round of the Fortune Cup was about to begin. Final round? Oh yeah, because... Yusei doesn't actually fight Jack in the Fortune Cup. No, he does. Yeah, he does. Yeah. Pretty sure he does. Or was that the one we already did? I don't really remember. It's been quite a few years since uh, 5D's anime. I've seen some episodes multiple times, but especially those are the start of most of them I've only seen once. Let's see. Defense vision this turn. Controls that much can I attack just by position. So show in this card center grave to move blades like a monster. Okay. What synchros do we have? Just junk and stardust. Uh, doesn't leave us with a lot of options. I don't really want to insta junk synchron either, even though we do have call I'll just set to what she does. Maybe she Thinks it might be a good set card. And she doesn't actually attack into it. We'll see. And depending on what happens, like we could either flip some junk sinkhorn or attack there or some turret warrior over it. Let's find out what a keys and her plan deck will be able to do to us. Doing your opponent's turn, any battle zero, what is up to Less defense from the grave, so that means junk synchron. That's warrior type, right? Yeah, okay, good. Alright, warrior! Turret warrior! What I could do is call the haunted into Stardust, which I feel is good because she has Wall of Thorns, which is pretty much a mirror force, but only if she has a plant. I don't want to do that, but it's probably if I she does have something to get rid of um, Turret Warrior, then I'll really be on the back foot. Because like I can get Spear Force to get Chunk Synchro back, but then I still need to draw into other things. And I can't like double normal summon to go into a synchro. So this is probably my best way to do it. Because this way I still have Spirit Force to get Chunk Synchro back from the graveyard when I take battle damage. Exhaust Stardust the Dragon! Attack! Shooting Sonic! Dark fridge. Applied up to there's normal summoners that are moving close in the same grave in attack position. Okay, that's only if it's a plan type tuner. Okay. So does it have a... is it something Rose Knight? That's a warrior, so that doesn't work with it. Copy plant might. Heavy shackles. All first up once your opponent controls become plant type during your turns only. Just the opponent, so not their own for Dark Forger. If this first up you control destroy and send the grave opponent card for Dark Forger. Okay, so my monsters are plants. What are you gonna do with that? Anti-plant cards? Nothing yet. Dora! Scrap Iron Scarecrow, yay. I like that card. You go! Stardust the Dragon! Shooting Sonic! Spore. She can 
summon that one back. I don't think she actually, Aki's actually used Spore. It was Luna that had Spore in her deck. Yeah, so maybe one, one per duel. Considering using Give and Take, let's see exactly what it does again. No, I just increase the level. I just, I don't actually get a monster. They do. When I summon it in defense, I'll come make use of it to deal some battle damage if she only plays defense cards. I want another monster though. Because at this point, I'm just destroying monsters and not dealing damage. Turret Warrior. That's not what I meant. Because I can't actually play Turret Warrior. Let's just continue attacking with Stardust Dragon. Ooh, Rose Witch. Not sure what kind of level 7 post plant she's on. Probably Titanial. That's a card commonly seen. So if she has Rose Witch, she probably has something to make use of Rose, Witch, Rose Witch's ability. Which most likely is Titanial. I've seen other video games where Akiza does have Titanial in her deck. It's not, it's not a card she ever used in the anime, but it is something that would fit her deck. Speed Warrior, yeah, we get to do something. We're gonna Insta Turret Warrior? Yeah, we're gonna Insta Turret, turret Warrior for some extra power. And now, if we get battle damage, I can Spirit Force, get Junk Synchron back, normal summon, effect into Speed Warrior, get Junk Warrior. That's obviously if everything goes the way I want. Direct attacks there, dealing really good damage. So far, it doesn't seem like Akiza has the greatest card. She doesn't really have anything to combo with. And maybe because her deck just isn't really good at that, or she doesn't have the card she wants. Now she plays Spore, though. Summoning it by banishing Rose Witch, so that means Spore becomes level 5. Her only Synchro at this point probably is Black Rose Dragon. She doesn't have any of the others. No, she just wanted to summon it to... She beats on Rue Rose Tentacles. She, she definitely used that in the duel against Yusei and attacked with it a couple times. Was it five times, I vaguely remember? Start your battle phase for each flying to monster your opponent currently controls. This card gains one additional attack if it simply destroys my battle 300 damage. So that's why she wants Ivy Shackles. Part, at least for this card. Maybe more, but at least for this one. Okay. I see. Uh, start of the battle. So she gets two attacks with Rose Tentacles. Without an attack, but she won't be able to take out Stardust. I'll use Spirit Force. It will mean, like, I'll only save myself from. No, actually, no, I'm just gonna play Scarecrow and Scarecrow. If I wouldn't have had that, I would have played my other trap. I just said its name. What is it called? Spirit Force. It would have only saved me a hundred life points. But didn't I just play? All right, she has two attacks, and then I continued to click because I was like, why would I ever use anything else? But we shouldn't have had a damage step or damage calculation if the attack didn't go through. Okay. Yeah, I, I didn't think much else about it. I was like, something must be up, but I just continued clicking. Mistake on my part. Misplay right there. Um, yeah, now I don't really have um, a giant synchron in my hand. Although I'd left to draw into one. Speed warrior. I'll take it. Speed Warrior is likely something that will be attacked by whatever she might summon next turn. So then I can use Given like No, no attack. In fact, I want you to get some more power. Now we attack. Stardust Dragon. Oh, Stentakuros of Kogik! I see what you're doing. Wall of Thorns. Yeah, that's why I have Stardust out. Partially because of that card. Stardust negates. That destroys things that destroy. I like that about Stardust. Speed Warrior is kinda not really safe. Also, I get Stardust back. I don't. When something like that pops up and I don't intend to activate anything, I just assume I click Escape because that's just what I've gotten used to. Because I don't want to play anything. But it said that you want to summon Stardust back, which means the return must be optional. You can special summon this card from the graveyard. Okay, I didn't realize that. I suppose that's me, like, playing Dueling Network at, like, a disadvantage. 
Because I pretty much always bring it back. And then I not, don't use starters for a while, so I maybe forgot about it. Maybe I never realized. I'm not sure. But yeah, I, I, considering it's the option, I should get the option, and I just click too fast, which is something you really shouldn't do in an auto automated game. Like, I made the misplay before as well. So, uh, yeah, that didn't go well. I just completely lost my Stardust. At least I still have my Speed Warrior, which means I use Spirit Force to get my Junk Sync run. Yes, I had a dozen yet of card, please. An additional attack. I was. Just, oh, I misunderstood it slightly. I, I should have just known this. Additional means more than one. I just, for some reason, thought I had two months, so she attacks twice. No. I had two, so she could have attacked a third time that turn. She just didn't, because Starbucks was stronger. This is when I'm gonna stop with Scrap Iron. Now she shouldn't have more attacks. Okay. Dark Verger. Black Rose. Dragon. I'd be surprised if she used the effect. I hope she does. No, she does. Just destroy every card on the field. I love that. She can still let's see if I have a defense position monster. Do something fancy. If she's got center reacts with some speed warrior from hand deck or graveyard, wait. So the opponent needs to destroy it. Yeah, so even if I play Junk Warrior, I can't actually take a Black Rose. What I can do, though, hopefully if she doesn't have anything to stop my attacks, deals a major damage on Dark Verger. However, the thing is... Because she just left it in attack, and she... Oh no, it has to be special summoned in attack. If she had the choice, and she left it in attack, she must have something in the back. No, she might not. We'll see. Synchro Shokan! Junk Warrior! Igzo, Junk Warrior! Tag Vadja, Kugik! Scrap Fisto! That leaves a Kiza with only very few points. I'm actually gonna leave this in my hand in case I have something that discards from my hand. Because I don't see her destroying anything. She attacks. No. Scrap on Scarecrow. I negate your attack. Go ahead and set your card, I can attack it. Or no town. Doro. Fighting spirit. Heck yeah. So be maho! Hatsdo! Junk Boriani Sobi! Plus 600 points. Igzo Junk Warrior! Black Rose Dragon Kogik! Scrap Fista! Boom! That's how I like to see it. Also, the fact that I did set limiter overload leaves space in my spell and trap card zone for other cards to be used. Or just spell and trap zone, it's now officially called. So I should stick to that. But she wants to use evil thorns, but then why would. But there's forced to be summoned in attack. I'm nowhere near. No, she's. Why did you flip summon it before she said it? Set new card. That was strange. Mm. New set card as well in the spell and trap zone. Could be a wall of thorns, which is not nice. Got a speed warrior. I'm gonna hold that in the back in case it is wall of thorns. And this only saves me from battle destruction, not effect destruction. Well, even if it is Wallathorn, she can't use it because she doesn't have any face up. Um. What's it? Plants. Let's do the fence. I can get one thing. I'm gonna set Speed Warrior to maybe, if she has a double attack, lure an attack away from Junk Warrior. Then again, she doesn't have the defense of that thing, she does know Junk Warrior. She's Effect. She doesn't use its effect? Does she have some kind of grand set monster or something? Well, no, it's another monster she wants to set. Cause she should have just used the normal summon on Giga Plant, get the Gemini effect, 
Only now she does. Or maybe she just wants to summon something in defense then? I assume so. Okay, support in defense. I don't expect her to go Black Rose. Okay, apparently she goes Black Rose, which is as strong as Giga planned. Is not a plan, so she can't use it with that. Oh, she's using the destroy everything effect. That's not good. So here, defense position. Um, I'm just gonna play this just for the sake of um. Uh, what's it? Uh, getting closer to the achievement of getting a bunch of chains because everything will still be destroyed. And now I would have liked Limiter Overload to be phased down. Then it could have gotten a free speed warrior. Okay. Yeah. The one card she did have to destroy things was Black Rose. But yeah. Game is over. Because we have tuning. We get to add Junk Synchron. Another tuning to the grave. That doesn't matter. Junk Synchron. Koka. That's the speed of warrior. Should be curious at a Toxic Show. Exo Junk Synchron! Direct attack! Yay! Give me the keys there. Ah! Akiza! I think you've done enough damage for one day, Mr. Fudo. Akiza's coming home with me. The Fortune Cup finale. Yep, we do fight Jack. After the duel with the Black Rose Witch, Yusei uncovered Goodwin's plans for the Crimson Dragon and confronted him. Time to talk. You forced me into this tournament. You threatened me, and you locked up my friends. I want to know the truth. I'm not dueling Jack until you tell me why you've done this. Are you dense, you say? It's because of this Mark. He wants a Crimson Dragon's power, so he's been trying to gather everyone who has a Mark. He got me here by lying to me, buttering me up and manipulating me. Oh, come on. You're making me sound so devious. Jack, you wanted to be the Turbo Duel Champion. Yeah, but I wanted to earn that title. At this point, I'm starting to think that you've been rigging everything. You set me up as bait for you, say. Goodwin knew that you would come after me if I did everything exactly as he asked. Don't be ridiculous. I didn't even know about you, say, until you dueled him that night in the arena. Do you honestly expect me to believe that this is all some big coincidence? I have a demand to make. You got what you wanted. You say here, isn't he? So let his friends go. I want this duel to be legit. No threats, no gimmicks, just us. If that is what my champion wants, then so be it. So the battle between Yusei Fudo and Jack Atlas began. This is it. I'm finally going to show you that you don't have what it takes to be the best, Yusei. Are you sure we should be doing this? There's still a lot we don't know about the Crimson Dragon. That is exactly what I'm talking about, you say. You have no guts. Fine, Jack. Let's do it! Alright, you say versus Jack. Round His only Synchro is bound to be Red Dragon Archery, and he doesn't have anything else yet. Just adding a few more Synchros, even if they're just generic ones, could definitely help the deck. That's not themed after what they used in the duel, so it's understandable. Only Junk Warrior and Stardust again here. Synchro Blast Wave is nice. I like that a Speed Warrior and Junk Synchro and Pillar. Iron Will might work against some banishing stuff that Jack might want to do. Meteor Fire. Two cards from your hand to the grave. You'll more than 3,000 life points. 2,000 damage to your opponent. Two cards from hand to grave, though. But 2,000 damage. I'll play it. I'll play Tuning. See what I can get. See what I can get in the grave. Ooh, there's a Hyper Synchron. That requires me to get another level 4. I'll just get another Junk Synchron. For use later on. Ah. Reinforcements, so that's unfortunate. Speed Warrior for now. 
One, because it can get to higher attack on its own during the first battle phase when it's normally summoned. Also, that would likely mean that it'll be in the graveyard next turn, and then I can Junk Synchron into Speed Warrior to get Junk Warrior. Half the current attack, one phase up, once the opponent tells so again, because the other doesn't do it. Well, it doesn't affect me in any way. You. You. I'm like, when do I use Meteor Flare? Because I want to keep using all of them. Now that I think about it, I should have kept Speed Warrior in my hand, maybe. So to then discard up the Meteor Flare. And wait with Iron Wall, because. There might be something where he banishes as a cost, in which case I should activate it now, but I don't really know what that would be. So I think I'll wait with it until he activates something that requires him to maybe chain up and banish on resolution. No, I think it's more likely that it has something else. The Imperial Iron Wall just now. I'll let him take out Speed Warrior because that was the plan all along anyway. Get him some damage. Hopefully I don't have a card that requires banishing. Reinforcements are nice. Yeah, I'll take Shield Warrior and the discard with Meteor Flare. Mm. I want to play Meteor Flare, but... This only destroys a monster. I don't want to just play it yet. I don't want to keep both of my Junk Synchrons. Wait. Don't use Meteor Flare yet. Yeah, I, st I still have some time to use it, and I don't think I'll use it more than once. I could just wait with it and use it. Well, I can't use it as the final card to finish the opponent off, but... At least, I'm not using it now, I'll decide, depending on the rest of the situation of the duel. What Jack does, what I draw into. First, I Synchro Summon, Janka Warrior. You have the tuna capture, they get one of my monsters. Okay, it's understandable. I'm still going to attack into Twin Sword Marauder. One, because that's the one that deals damage, and two, because he likely has a level 4 non tuner plus level 4 tuner to get a synchros up. He need a, a level 5 non tuner to get. But Dragon Archfiend off now. He does have a card that uses often like that with Vice Dragon. But that can only be special summoned when he doesn't control any monsters first. And he does drink the card. Stack 500 damage to your opponent. Okay. I see what he's doing. Okay, now let's think. He's gonna get Red Dragon Archfiend. I want Shield Warrior in the grave to save Junk Warrior. And then next turn I can synchro Blast Wave to take out Red Dragon Archfiend. Uh, yeah. As soon as he summons Red Dragon Archfiend. Meteor Flare. Yep, because I want Shield Warrior in the grave. Uh huh. He's a read his effect just to be safe on it. This fishing monster phone controls destroy all defense fishing monster phone controls. For all monster control that did not declare an attack this turn was face up in the field attack the result. Right, Meteor Flare, let's go. Shield Warrior. Junk Synchron, 2000 damage. What? Where's. I couldn't play Shield Warrior? What? Did I miss something? Why couldn't I play. Because of my own Imperial Iron Wall! I have it to stop Jack's cards. Why is this card even in the deck then? I'll probably steal to stop Jack's cards, but this just messed me up. Okay, I completely forgot about Imperial Iron Well, that was completely my fault, but Yeah. Now I pretty much need to draw into Junk Synchron to stand a chance. Because like I can set this. But then Jack can just attack it and then Red Dragon Arch being effects and Shield Wing will still be destroyed. And then he gets an attack with Power Turner. I need Junk Synchron, and I already searched for one reinforcements with the army. So I need my third one. No, I'm not getting Meteor Flare back. Tuning Wear, no. 
I'm just setting this to not take damage. I made a couple of misplays in the previous duel and was luckily enough still able to win. But it doesn't look like I'm going to win on this one. Need my junk warrior now. Dora! been awesome last turn. Even though, no, then I would have still been a zero life points. Oh, no. no defense is zero, I summon it. Defense position. Yeah, I lose because I'm uh, Imperial Iron Wall. <laughs> that, that's, that's my excuse. I haven't seen any card of his that banishes. Alright, looks like uh, after the last uh, Legacy video where we won both of our campaign duels, we are back to losing the one of them, which generally is then this, which has so far always been the second one. I'm gonna have to stop this guy because otherwise he could finish me off. I like this card and some combos you can do with it, Descent Last Star, but for now there's nothing I can really do. He'll just attack into it, his other two monsters will finish me off. That was unfortunate. Hmm. With the Pearl Iron Wall, Hyper Synchron will not banish Stardust Dragon and you can keep reusing Cobalt Hedgehog. Oh, so it is to for my, it is for my own cards. Okay, so then I shouldn't just I shouldn't have activated. I know that for now. Then it's there to stop for me to allow Cobalt Hedgehog to be reused and Hyper Synchron not to banish Stardust. Okay, because normally Hyper Synchron would banish Stardust in the end phase. Okay, so then I won't activate it until I actually get to a point with your Hyper Synchron and Cobalt Hedgehog. All right. I like do, do like those stamps like in. They give reasons why certain cards are in the deck and other cards you could use. Sometimes they let you know of cards that are in the deck that you didn't even know were there. Like, earlier on in the series, I think in episode 2, it was something about MSD Infinity that I didn't even know was in the deck. Okay, to end up this episode, we're going to open some gong packs. Uh, I'd say 10 of them. I'm still looking for two Card of the Mize out of that pack and two Drowning Mirror Force for my Yosenju deck. So let's see if we can get those. Balance of Judgment here looks quite a lot like Solemn Strike, but it isn't. So I keep thinking, the moment I see it, like, oh, that's Solemn Strike. No, it's not. And I already have enough Solemn Strikes. So I don't need that. Ooh. I'm going to have to look into what that card is. Which sure that's the manga Crimson Dragon. The Dragon Slayer. There's some interesting good cards in there, but not the ones I'm looking for right now. Solemn Strike. It's awesome that I got that, but I already have it. I'm not looking for any more. So, the really nice cards do really nice for nice card for Black Wings. Not what I'm looking for. I'm really just looking for the card from Yuzhen Judag. And even with these two cards, if I get more Drowning Mirror for the card of the Mice, the deck won't be fully completed. But I will be a lot close to it, and I think that that's then the deck can function. I have my main Searchers and Tenki. I have my Usenjus. I have a couple of Ixis Mons, even though I'll barely ever use that. And then once I have my main trap lineup and card of the Mice, I feel I should be okay. Uh, it doesn't look like we got any of the cards we wanted in these packs, which is unfortunate. But that can happen. Alright, I'll see you all tomorrow again when I'll be back with Pokemon Vortex. And in a couple of days, you'll see Legacy back on the channel. I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Goodbye.